Good morning, friends. I am so excited to see you. I have this new bag that I'm so excited to tell you about. It's a backpack, but it's not the kind of backpack you wear to school. It's so big that I can fit a house, a bed, and a stove inside this backpack. You don't believe me, do you? Okay, I can't really fit a house in there, but I can put a tent in there, and I can't really fit a bed in there, but I can put a sleeping bag inside. And believe it or not, they make a stove so tiny that you can put it in this bag and use it to cook in the woods. When I put this bag on, I feel ready to go anywhere and have a big adventure. In today's story, we're gonna hear about a time when God asked Peter to pack his bags and go on an adventure. Let's look at Acts chapter 10 from God's Word together to find out where Peter went and why. Cornelius was an officer in the Roman army who lived in Caesarea. He and everyone in his house worshiped God. Cornelius helped other people and he always prayed to God. One afternoon, Cornelius saw an angel of God in a vision which frightened him. The angel said to him, God has heard your prayers and he has sent others to help you. Then the angel told Cornelius to send for a man named Peter, who was in the city of Joppa. So Cornelius sent two of his servants and one soldier to Joppa. The next day, as the servants and the soldier were nearing the city, Peter went up on the roof of the house to pray. Peter saw a vision of something like a large sheet coming down from heaven. In the sheet were all kinds of animals, reptiles and birds. A voice said to him, get up, Peter, kill and eat. No, Lord, said Peter, I have never eaten anything that is unclean or not used for food. Again, a voice said to him, God has made these clean. Do not call them unclean. This happened three times. And then the whole thing was taken up into heaven. Peter tried to understand what the vision meant. Then Cornelius's men arrived at the gate. They explained that Cornelius had seen a vision and an angel instructed him to send for Peter. So the next day, Peter went with the men to Caesarea. When Peter got to Cornelius' house, he explained to Cornelius that God does not consider some people to be better than others. God had sent good news to the Israelites. Jesus is Lord of all. Peter said, everyone who believes in Jesus will have their sins forgiven. As Peter said this, the Holy Spirit came down on those who heard the message, not just the Jews, but the Gentiles or non-Jews too. The Jewish believers were amazed. Cornelius, his friends, and his relatives were baptized in the name of Jesus, and Peter stayed with them for a few days. I am so glad that Peter listened to God and packed his bags and went. Many people heard the good news of Jesus and were baptized that day. That is a great reason to pack your bags and go on a trip. Speaking of going, I have been sitting here for too long. It's time to hit the trails. Have a good week, friends.